Hello everyone. Before we get started, I do need to advise you that today's episode does deal with the issues of suicide and self-harm. If you don't feel that you are in any mindset to engage in the discourse on these topics, please do yourself a favor and leave the video now. Thank you. You know, I'm silly because despite having the entire day off, despite not going anywhere, I record when I have the glare hour. Hello everyone, once again, my name is Artemidge, and welcome to day 14 of Vita. And I appear to be alone today, so it shouldn't turn into another 20 minute video. Now first off, I want to make sure that everyone notices I did recognize the audio video sync issue. Uh, I've played around with my settings on recording end, and I think that's taken care of it. So editing going forward, we shouldn't have so many problems where it winds up being bad kung fu movie dubbing. So recently on Netflix there has been that show 13 Reasons Why, which is based off a novel in which a teenage girl commits suicide and leaves behind some extensive details as to what fueled her decision. And I'm not through it yet. I am not the target audience. In fact, I get the feeling that a lot of the people who will be watching this at this stage, like with it being the day that's being posted, aren't the target audience either. We are people who understand where suicidal tendencies and thoughts and even actions come from. But it's still something that I'm watching because obviously these kinds of things are important to me. Hence, that's part of the nature of what my channel is going to be, as well as other content I work on. But nonetheless, I wouldn't say that I have nothing to learn from it. I would simply say that this is your 101. This is the kind of thing that you need to tell other people who may not understand your past with such thoughts or actions can get an idea of what can drive somebody to do so. Now, I'm sure that some people out there are having issues with suicidal thoughts or desires or even self-harm actions as adults, but these matters do typically manifest first in adolescence, so it is a great starting point to say for a lot of people this is kind of where similar thoughts started to me, I had similar reasons as to why, or simply a case of showing this is how small things that shouldn't matter in the long run can fuel such a decision. I actually get a little personal on it here, uh, watching the show and really listening to them go over some of the uh, indicators, I guess we'll call it, indicating behaviors of someone who might be struggling with such considerations. It's amazing how many I filled, and yet I'm still here, and I don't know how. I even remember one day in the fourth grade, some other kid was just being a terrible person to me, and I even out and out said, no, one day you're going to come here, and I won't be here. And yet, that didn't trigger any kind of response from the school. They didn't pull me out to talk to me. They didn't call in any sort of counselors. They didn't contact my parents. So, it was a lot of me dealing with this kind of thing on my own. Which really makes you wonder how back then, when class sizes were relatively smaller, where you got to know your students better, how something like that just flew under the radar, especially since I said it right in front of the teacher. There are many things that are failings in the education system when it comes to facilitating people who need help in academics, in social aspects, and in mental health aspects. And this show can definitely give people a better idea of that, especially since not everyone will have had experiences like Hannah's or my own or possibly your own. 
maybe some of you watching this didn't have such experiences. Maybe to some of you, this is your 101. Regardless of whether or not you experienced these things in the past growing up, or you're struggling with them now, if you are having trouble getting people to understand, and you're being as clear and concise as you can, I certainly suggest having them give a look at the show. For those who aren't big on TV shows, there is of course the novel. It is available in audiobook form on Audible. So there are options out there. That way, there's not really an excuse for anyone not to experience this who you feel should need to. It's a matter of you need to make it clear that if you want them to see this, they have to make it a priority. So that's all I've got to talk about today. Rather down subject, but certainly one that could stand to be talked about, just like many other things I've talked about previously and will talk about in the future. And hopefully you're all going to take this ride with me together and all going to be here for the end of it, which is not going to come about by my own hand if I have anything to say about it. So everyone, have a great day, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.